Hello, my dear friends. July the 8th was a very interesting day. It was the day that even the Weather Channel proclaimed to be an impossible day on the globe. It was the day when the heliocentric model shot itself dead. But first of all, let's demonstrate some sympathy to our globe friends. Let's observe one minute of silence for the death of the heliocentric model, also known as the spinning ball Earth with water and air velcroed around it. But let us, flat earthers, celebrate a little bit. Let's celebrate. We deserve. We've been discriminated. We've been censored. Google, YouTube, they all censor our, our videos, our books, our articles. So we deserve some celebration because there, will, there is no other day like July the 8th. I only found one video and that was also made by the Weather Channel trying to demonstrate this event on the globe. And as we can see here, the light of the sun clearly covers 60 to 70 percent of the globe. So we have 60 to 70 percent of the globe wrapped in sunlight. That's impossible on the heliocentric model. The sunlight cannot cover more than 50 percent of the globe. But as you see on this simulation by the Weather Channel, to be possible for the sunlight to cover all those regions in the, on Earth, it's necessary that the sunlight covers between 60 to 70 percent of the globe. Not being able to show, many news channels are showing the Mercator's projection because that's the only one they can show. One more thing this half hour, okay. there is a rare phenomenon happening right now across the globe. As of about three minutes ago, 7.15 Eastern time, 99% of the entire world's population is facing the sun. That means we're all experiencing some degree of sunlight at the exact same time, either full daylight or for a lot of other folks, twilight. If you look at the map right there, just the Pacific Islands and Australia, the, the Australian region, are fully in the dark. 99% of the world. And, and California. Poor California. <laughs> yes. You know what, though? What a cool phenomenon. This poor guy, he tried to demonstrate on the globe how that could be possible, but he failed miserably. So he had to go to his computer and demonstrate on the Mercator's projection. On July 8th of every year at 11.15 Universal Time, that translates to about 7.15 Eastern Time, 99% of the world's population, just over 99% of the world's population, is actually in sunlight. Two hours later. Um, the reason is actually kind of interesting once we kind of delve into this a bit. Seven hours later. So, I mean, if you look at the Pacific Ocean, this just kind of gives you a rough idea. Imagine if the sun was lighting up this section of the Earth. Do you see that there'd be a very small amount of Earth's population? Right. But over here, when you get Asia, Africa, maybe some of North America and some South America, you can see that you have a much larger percentage of the Earth's population that could be in sunlight. One eternity later. Let me reference this tweet. It's actually kind of cool. And if we take a look, they actually put a map with it that helps explain this just a little bit. So if I zoom in just a tad, what you can see is that each July 8th at 11.15 UTC, Universal Time, that's Greenwich Mean Time if you're kind of curious, right through Greenwich, England. So it is impossible 
for the sunlight to wrap around the globe between 60 to 70 percent. So there is no other day like July 8 to demonstrate how wrong the heliocentric model is. And to better understand, all we have to do is to convert the Mercator projection into the Flat Earth map and see how it makes more sense on the Flat Earth map. With a small sun, a small local sun, you can see here how it illuminates those regions on Earth, leaving the majority of Earth in the dark. Only on the Flat Earth model, even this map by Weather Channel, I converted into a flat earth map and you can see here it's better explained with a small and local sun circulating over the flat earth we can see how this is possible for a day like July the 8th. If you still believe in the heliocentric model yesterday was the day for you to drop the model and realize we don't live on a spinning ball spinning around the universe. So uh, this is just a short video, the earth is flat, keep it flat guys, see you the next time, bye bye.